Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I do apologize in advance. I do have my dog inside and he is barking a lot today. So if you do hear that, I do apologize. But we are here because as you can tell by the title, we are talking about a shoe. Now, this is a shoe, to be honest, that I had wanted for so long. And I first heard about the brand and saw the brand when my dog when the kardashians were all over this brand and they were wearing these shoes constantly in their show and i just fell in love with how sleek and nice they looked and the more i looked into them one i found out that they were quite expensive so i was like i'm not gonna spend that much money on a shoe because they were ranging around the three to four hundred dollar mark which is just too much in my opinion um, and they were also hard to find but anyway I was shopping one day and I came across a incredible deal so the shoes pricing is honestly all over the place I actually can't tell you how much they are because they are an older style so it's not like a current style that I can tell you how much they are if that makes sense but I was shopping in TK Maxx in Australia and they said on the tag that they retail for $200 and they were marked down to $19 and I was like one I can't believe they have this brand in store I was so not expecting it and I'm like for $19 I have to pick them up so uh, this is the shoe so it's a rose gold color and it does have like a shimmer to it now this is definitely not a not a like a color i would usually go for i am more of a really beige person and i know that these are quite like muted and they're not like really out there but still just like a rose gold color for me is just not my style but I'm going to have to read about these shoes to you because I can't remember off the top of my head. So these are called, just for further future, whatever. I'm so tired as well. I'm so sorry. I did not sleep last night. So they are the APL brand, obviously, which is the Athletic Prof... I don't even know how to say the brand. I'm just going to say APL. And they're called the Tech Loom Phantom Pro Running Shoes. So they do come in a range of colors. And as I said, pricing is all over the place. Um, on Amazon currently, they're $185. So the, you can machine wash these. The fabric is a fused knit. It's an EVA sole neoprene sock with integrated tongue and lace up top. It says, innovation and style meets the APL Labs Tech Loom Phantom running shoe for women. Featuring a newly developed Tech Loom upper that offers four-way stretch to keep your feet comfortable while the 3D grid pattern provides support when you need it. A neoprene tongue with integrated collar offers exceptional fit and all-day comfort in a sleek, low-cut silhouette. Cushioning is provided by a proprietary APL Propylium midsole and outsole for extreme comfort and clean looks. The Tech Loom Phantom is truly where fashion and athletics intersect. Now I do 100% agree with that. I, as I said, I love how sleek these looked and yeah, I tried them on in the store and one, I was surprised that they did fit because this is a size nine and I'm usually an eight. But I would say if you are looking into this brand, they do run small. I would not like even close fit into an eight. So just remember that. Um, but yes, my thoughts on this. Now, I just want to say straight up, I am a Adidas Ultra Boost girl. That is my shoe for life. 
I believe, because they are the only shoes I can put on and just go. I don't need to break them in. I find them so comfortable. I can literally wear them all day, walk as many steps as I need to and not have any issues. Um, I have tried ASICS, the Quantum 360s, so uncomfortable, but I mean, some people are obsessed. And these shoes I had high hopes for because again, amazing reviews. In my area, I do a one kilometer loop with my dog um, when I take him. I took him for the one kilometer loop in these shoes. And can I say, the most uncomfortable shoe I have ever come across. Honestly, I had blisters. They were rubbing the back. I had like they were the backs of my feet were bleeding and they were just so uncomfortable. My foot was becoming numb. It was so, so horrible. Um, I found with the tongue, so it like almost rubs because it goes obviously in here it like rubbed the top of my foot as well and I could not get home quick enough to take them off so I literally have not worn them for the longest time probably six months maybe more I actually forgot I had them I got them out and wore them yesterday and again the most uncomfortable shoe I've ever come across it's not a sizing problem it's not anything like that it's just simply it does not work with my foot personally um, and I 100% am beyond disappointed that they don't work but it is what it is I know that ultra boost is the shoe that I ultimately will just continue to go back to because I just have zero complaints about them um, but yeah let me know your thoughts if you have tried this brand of shoe. I think I'm just going to be donating them now. I really am so grateful that I didn't pay the exorbitant prices that they are asking, like $19. I can deal with losing that, but if it was any more, I would be obviously devastated. So yeah, that is my review. Absolutely did not work for me, but yeah, this is... I look at the shoe close up as well so like really nice like I like that you can just chuck them on with like shorts and a t-shirt or gym clothes and it just look I say sleek like I really really just I love how nice they looked and low profile and all of that so as you can see this is like the soles so yeah, I've worn them for two kilometers and they, they will be going. So yeah, as I said, let me know your thoughts. If you have tried this brand, does it work for you? What's your favorite athletic shoe? I would love to know. I don't think I will try anything other than Ultra Boost, but you never know in the future. So yeah, leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching as always. And I will see you in my next video very soon. Thanks again. Bye.